Welcome back. Ugh. I can never be like fully comfortable on this chair. <laughs> um, so for this video, we're going to go over the third part of the T's test, which is the science portion. And I don't know about you, but I remember I was all mad because this came after the reading and the math. By this time, I was already hungry. I was tired and I was like, great, now it's the science part. And I swear that one was the longest one, at least for me it was. Um, so let's just hop into it. So you want to know scientific reasoning as well as the scientific method. You want to know the order, all the steps, why we do the scientific method, as well as why an experiment may need to be repeated. Make sure you know that. Um, know the fundamentals of electronegativity, as well as understand the various physical states of matter. Those being gas, solid, liquid, how they change, um, in what states they change, you know, pressure, volume. <clears throat> You want to get a feel for the chemical properties of water as well. More specifically, the temperatures that they that water freezes and boils. I know I got a couple of questions on that, so make sure you remember that. Um, understand what happens during cereal dilution and like what the result is from that. And you also want to have a general understanding of the concepts of natural selection and adaptation. You definitely want to make sure you can distinguish the differences between those. In addition to that, you want to know the factors that oh yeah the factors that influence birth and fertility rates, because um, you pretty much need to decipher how the population will increase or decrease based on those. I remember getting at least like two questions on that, so you can definitely find that in your study guide. Make sure you remember that, as well as understand the population of growth. Yeah, growth and decline of the population based on immigration and emigration. I got those confused, so make sure you know that, as well as birth and death. In addition to that, you want to know your biological classifications from general to specific. So like domain, kingdom, phylum. You really want to make sure you pay attention to those questions, though, because they're a little tricky and you need to make sure like you double check the reading because it'll... It'll be kind of tricky, but it should tell you at least like if they want it to be more specific or general, you know, in the order. Um, in addition to that, you want to know as much as you can about nucleic acids, DNA, RNA, all that fun stuff. Know their makeup, how they bond, what's the difference between DNA and RNA, like what makes them unique, um, how they pair, you know, physiology again. <laughs> um, you also want to know what's happening in all the different stage stages of translation and transcription, which I definitely had to like read on a couple of times. So I was like, aren't they the same thing? But they're not. <laughs> um, know all the parts of the cell, mitochondria, all that fun stuff, um, in both the prokaryote and the eukaryote. And what they do, like messenger and all that fun stuff. Um, what else? Oh, also the parts that make up the cell wall in both plant and animal cells. I remember being so upset. Like, I'm not really about to be here with no plant cells, and you know, but apparently uh, I have to be. In addition to that, you want to know photosynthesis because they did ask questions on that. Um, what else? Oh, always, always remember that protein and, um, like, they always equate to amino acids. It doesn't matter what the question is, just know that. You want to understand um, chloropath, cl uh, chloroplasts, <laughs> struggles real, uh, and what they do and how they do it. Chromosomes, genes, um, cell differentiation. You want to know like the meso, endo, and ectoderm, um, mitosis and meiosis. You want to make sure you remember all the phases. What are they like? G1, S, G2, etc. <laughs> um, with those, I remember. Luckily, I had just taken physio, so I, you know, I was fresh with that. But to freshen up, you definitely want to check out these YouTube videos like Can Academy and Crash Course bomb they help you out like all day or day any day I'll link them below um you also want to understand the difference between a heterotroph and autotroph how they relate to each other and 
cell in like the life cycle photosynthesis review it review it review it just do it be familiar with cellular respirations as well and like what's happening um code on chart I think I got a question on that uh, we'll just look over it mutation versus adaptation and the phenotype and genotype genotype is genes phenotype is like what you can see um planet squares calculating probability you want to know the difference between heterozygous homozygous recessive and dominant all that fun stuff kinetic and potential energy so a little bit of chems thrown in there actually there was a lot of chem now that i think about it um there's always one stupid earth science questions i don't know they're Mm. I don't know why they're in there. I guess to make us smarter or whatever. <laughs> um, the periodic table. Know the atomic number versus the atomic mass, protons, neutrons, electrons. Um, again, chemistry. Again, Khan Academy and Crash Course. Hank. Is that his name? I don't know. That's my boy. You also want to be familiar with the um, valence electrons. Oh, also the, what are those called? The um, iconic bonds, or ionic bonds, <laughs> iconic bonds. Understand pH balance, acid, base, you know, pretty much know if it's acidic or basic. Um, what else? The ionic and covalent bonds, the hydrocarbons, make sure they're either saturated or unsaturated. And pretty much just any kind of basic um, chemical equation, kind of anatomy got you. That's all I can think of in regards to that science portion. I'm going to make another video in regards to, well, no, you know, I'll just do it right here. The anatomy and physiology, pretty much you want to make sure you know the blood pathway through the heart because 